Hello happy crocheters, this is Lindsay at WindingRoadCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute photo ornaments. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. For this project, we only need 18 yards of worsted weight yarn. I am using a yarn called Karen Crafties. It's a little pack that comes with 20 skeins of different colors of yarn. I'm also going to use a size G, four millimeter crochet hook. A yarn needle we are going to need a photo of some sort and then scissors and a few optional things if you want to block or stiffen this project so let's go ahead and get started to get started we are going to take our yarn and create a slip knot making sure we leave at least around a six inch yarn end then we're going to insert our hook and we're going to make a magic circle this is my way of doing it I like to first chain two because we're going to be working double crochet and then I'm going to take my yarn in and wrap it around my thumb. I am going to work my double crochets into this circle working over these two strands of yarn. So yarn over, go into the circle and pull up a loop and complete your double crochet. We're going to work 12 double crochet into this magic circle. You just want to make sure that you're going around both strands of the yarn when you're picking up a new strand of yarn. So go ahead and work your 12 double crochet into your magic circle. Once you have your 12 double crochet worked, we're just going to pull our yarn end tight and then we are going to slip stitch to the first double crochet. And then just so you know, we are working the back of our ornament first. So you're going to want to use the color that you're using as the last round of the front of your ornament. To begin round two, we are going to chain two. And for this round, we are going to work two double crochet in every stitch around. So working into our first stitch, we're working our first double crochet. Work another double crochet into the same stitch and then just repeat this in every stitch around. So in the next stitch we'll work two double crochet. When you're done with this round you'll have a total of 24 double crochet. When you reach the end of your row we are just going to slip stitch to the very first double crochet. Now we're on to round three. We're going to chain two. I do not count this as a stitch. For this row, we are going to double crochet in the first stitch and work two double crochet in the following stitch. That's gonna be our repeat pattern all the way around this row. So one in the first stitch, a double crochet in the second stitch, and a second double crochet in the second stitch. So now we're just going to repeat this again, working a double crochet and then two double crochet in the following stitch. So here's our first double crochet, followed by two double crochet in the following stitch and just repeat that all the way around and you will have a total of 36 double crochet in this round. When you reach the end of this round, just slip stitch to the very first double crochet and then we're going to fasten off but you want to make sure you have a good 12 inch yarn end maybe a little more you want to be able to make sure you make it all the way around the circle twice because we will be using this yarn end in order to sew our two pieces together and then just take that yarn in and pull it through the last loop on your hook now we've completed the back of our ornament now we are going to create the frame for the front of our ornament. We are going to start with a slip knot and we are going to chain 24 to make that window opening so you can see the picture. So we're just going to chain 24. Once we have 24 chain, we are just going to slip stitch to the very first chain. Now 
Now to create round one, we are going to chain one, and then we are going to work into our chains. We are going to single crochet into the first three chains. You can work into the chain whichever way you like. You can work into the back bumps if you like. I'm just working into the center of the chain. So one single crochet, two single crochets. This is our third single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're gonna work two single crochets. And we're gonna repeat this all the way around. So we're gonna single crochet in the next three chain and then follow it by a increase or two single crochet in the next chain. So one, two, and three. And then two single crochet in the next chain. Repeat this all the way around for a total of 30 single crochets. Once you make it all the way around, we are simply going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet. And then we're going to fasten off because we are using three colors, one for each round. So I'm just gonna take the yarn end and pull it through. I'm gonna take a moment to weave in my ends just to make it cleaner when I show you the next round. So now to join our next color, we are going to do a standing double crochet. You're gonna start by making a slip knot and insert your hook. You wanna make sure you hold that slip knot with your finger when working your standing double crochet. Pick any stitch to work your double crochet into. Holding the slip knot, you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into any stitch. If you let go, you're gonna lose that yarn over, so make sure to hold that slip knot. Insert your hook into the stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, now I'm gonna grab, yarn over and grab that yarn tail and pull through the last two loops on the hook. This creates a standing double crochet and eliminates the need for a turning chain or a slip stitch join. So for this row, we are going to double crochet into the first two stitches. So one double crochet, another double crochet, and in the next stitch, we are going to work two double crochet. So one and a second in the exact same stitch. Now we're gonna repeat this all the way around. So it's two double crochets and then an increase. So again, we're going to work one double crochet, another double crochet, and then two double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that pattern all the way around to have a total of 40 double crochets. When you reach the end of your row, you will just slip stitch to the very first double crochet. Again, we're going to fasten off and I'm going to quickly weave in my ends so they're not a distraction when we do round three. Now let's begin round three. We are going to do another standing stitch, but this time it will be a treble crochet. So I'm gonna make a slip knot and insert my hook. Round three includes a ton of shaping, but we're gonna go through it slowly. So holding my slip knot, I'm gonna yarn over twice. One and two. I'm gonna insert my hook into a stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, grab that yarn end and yarn over and pull through the last two stitch loops on my hook. That creates a standing treble crochet. Now we are going to make a pico. We're gonna do this by chaining three. One, two, three. This will be the point of our ornament. 
We're going to find the third chain from the hook and we are going to slip stitch to that third chain. Now we're going to make another treble crochet but into the same stitch as our previous treble crochet. So yarn over twice, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There we go. Continuing on, we are going to work two double crochets into the next stitch. One and two. We're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch. We are going to single crochet into the next four stitches. One, second single crochet, third single crochet, and our fourth single crochet. After we've completed those stitches, we are going to half double crochet into the next stitch. Work a double crochet into the next stitch. And then we are going to work two double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, double crochet in the same stitch. Next stitch, we're going to double crochet once and double crochet again into the same stitch. Move to the next stitch, you're going to double crochet once and then double crochet one more time into the same stitch. Continuing on, we are going to work a double crochet into the next stitch followed by a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then in the next four stitches, we are going to single crochet. So one, two, three, and four. So now we've made it halfway around our ornament. Let's go ahead and finish it up. So now we are going to half double crochet in our next stitch. We're starting to work our way up to that second point. We're going to work two double crochets into the next stitch. So one double crochet and another in the same stitch. Now we are going to treble crochet into the next stitch. We are going to make a pico, which is a chain three, and then slip stitch to the third chain from the hook. I hope I'm saying that right. For some reason I want to say picot, but I think it's supposed to be pronounced pico. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, let me know in the comments. Now we are going to make another treble crochet, and I'm also curious, does anyone ever call this a triple crochet? because it just makes sense to me, but I do know it's a treble crochet. We're going to follow this by two double crochet in the next stitch. So one double crochet and one more double crochet in the same stitch, followed by a half double crochet in the next stitch, and then by four stitches of single crochet. So one, two, three, and four. So then in the next stitch we are doing a half double crochet 
followed by a double crochet. And then in the next three stitches, we'll be working two double crochet in each stitch. So one, a second in the same stitch. It's our first increase. A double crochet. Another double crochet in the same stitch for our second increase. Another double crochet with another double crochet in the same stitch for our third increase. We are almost done. We are just going to finish up with a double crochet followed by a half double crochet followed by four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. Work a half double crochet, and two double crochets in the very last stitch. You should have a total of 52 stitches at the end of this row. And then we are going to finish this ornament by slip stitching to the very first treble crochet. Now we just need to fasten off and weave in our ends and you can actually tighten up the first and last stitch, sew them so that they are a little bit closer together when you fasten off and weave in your ends. And there is the front of our ornament. You can go ahead and assemble your ornament, or if you really want it to be nice and stiff, you do have the option to block your ornament. And if you like, just for that last row, you can use a mixture of one part water to three parts school glue or PVA glue to stiffen that last row and make those points and those shaping a little stiffer. If you do stiffen this project, you wanna wait till it is dry before assembling. Once you're ready to assemble, just take your picture and cut out your picture so it's just a little smaller than the back of our ornament. Once your picture is the right size, you're going to want to place it on the front of your ornament and position it so that it is oriented the way you'd like it to be. Sandwich it in between the front and the back piece of our ornament and then use a yarn needle and that long yarn end that we left on the back of the ornament to sew the two pieces together. So we are just gonna sew back and forth working into the top of row three on the back of your piece of your ornament and working through the top of row two on the front piece of your ornament. And I'm just going from stitch to stitch, working back and forth until I make it all the way around. Then I'm just going to weave in my ends and my ornament is almost done. The last thing you want to do is to add a little hanger to your ornament and you can do this by cutting a six inch piece of yarn or twine. You can use your yarn needle to pull that through the point at the top of your ornament and then just take your two yarn ends and knot them together. For some reason I had such a hard time knotting this on camera, I apologize. But there you go. Your ornament is completely done and this makes an excellent gift. It's something that I like to make and mail with Christmas cards to family members, often using photos of their own kids. So I really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. And thank you as always for watching.